I always have one. I always have one. All right, good afternoon. I hope everybody had a good Cyber Monday and a good Thanksgiving. Um, President Steinman, we should ask, do we have an attorney who will do so? Cardinal's President of Baseball Operations, Dominique Laylock. Uh, good afternoon. Great seeing you all again. Um, obviously, we're here for one reason, and, and that's to introduce Sonny Gray as a St. Louis Cardinal. I think back to about Sonny Gray, and I remember back in 2011 when he was pitching at Vanderbilt, how we had a lot of interest in trying to draft him in the first round. Unfortunately, he was chosen before we got to pick and uh, ended up being drafted by Oakland. So, you know, it's kind of come full circle, and that's kind of cool. And um, there were a couple times we actually tried to trade for him, too, along the way. So, so here we are. And, you know, people may ask, like, why do you sign Sonny Gray? Um, He's a competitor. He's always looking to improve. He's aggressive. He fits this ballpark perfectly. And most importantly, he wanted to be a Cardinal. So when I think back to this process, I want to thank Bo McGinnis, his agent. He was patient. Um, I tried to walk through the timeline and how we wanted to do this. Um, we were hoping to be able to sign a couple of pitchers that we knew we could count on innings for. And then if we were able to accomplish that, then we were hoping to do something a little bigger, a little longer, and obviously that's where Sonny fits in. So I want to thank Mr. DeWitt, ownership, for being patient, for um, supporting us, to giving this, us this opportunity to sign Sonny. Um, we entered this offseason with one simple goal, and that was pitching, pitching, pitching. And uh, I'd say so far, so good. And... You know, as I reminded all of you guys last week, that this isn't about being done or being finished. This is about um, addressing our needs and, and doing something that we felt we needed to do. And so getting, adding three guys to our rotation we think is important. Uh, we still know there will be competition in spring training, but there's still two months left in this offseason. We understand there's still some work to do. And, um, you know, the offseason's fluid. And so I just think... Um, we're going to take our time, reassess where we are, and certainly see if there's other ways that we can still improve before we get down to Jupiter. So at this time, I'd like to introduce Sonny Gray as a St. Louis Cardinal. So thank you. Put the hat on. I like that. <laughs> you can do the hat. Do a handshake. You do the right thing, right? Turn the floor over. <laughs> All right. The floor is yours. The floor is mine. Um. I don't have anything prepared or anything, but um, I mean, Mo's right. I uh, going into this thing, I wanted to be a Cardinal. Um, that started probably a little over a year ago. Um, it's a place that every time I've come here as a visitor, I've um, I've looked at the stadium and I've said, "Wow, this place is this place is incredible." Um, I looked around the seats and I've seen the fans and the fans continue to show up and they support this team. And then you, you talk around the league and you talk around different guys who have been all over the place. And um, everybody raves about St. Louis, uh, the Cardinals, uh, the fans, the, how the fans support you, how the fans are hard on you, how the, how the fans expect, expect you to win, expect greatness, which is something that as a player, as a competitor, that's something that you – that you want, especially for me, where I am in my career is um, is I want to win. I want to win. I w coming to an organization like St. Louis, uh, the tradition, just walking in here this morning, uh, you're kind of walking around and you're seeing everything and you see the history right, right when you walk in going into the clubhouse. The history is there. The feel is there. Um, it's, it's, just a, it's just a baseball town and a baseball city and in, in a place that that I'm more 
I, I'm, I'm thrilled, thrilled to be able to come and be a part of it. Um, I, I, I think that, as, as Mo was saying, pitching, 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 that's something that I, pitching is something that I love to do. Um, winning is something that I love to do. Um, creating a pitching culture, um, working with other pitchers on a staff, pushing each individual pitcher on a staff to get better, uh, that's something that, that's something that I, I truly, truly enjoy. Um, you want to talk about changing a, I mean, the, the changing a, a pitching culture or creating and establishing a strong pitching culture. I think you bringing in, bring in Lance, bring in Kyle, bringing me, um, you want to talk about creating an edge. Um, having some intent and some fire to the guys who take the ball, um, you're definitely doing that. And I think you guys, if you followed me at all, you definitely have probably seen that. And if you haven't, then you'll see it very soon. Um, but you want to talk about someone who takes the ball and has an edge, you'll see it. Um, and, and that's it. Like I said, I do, I do want to thank everyone involved throughout this process. It's a place, like I said, it's a place that me and my family, we, we, we truly, truly wanted, wanted to be here, and, and, and we're glad that it worked out, and, and, we, and, we, and we get to be here. So um, very, very excited to be a Cardinal and um, very excited to get this thing started. So anybody have any questions? Done. Um, I think you're born with it. I, I do now having, having an eight year old and a five year old and watching them compete on a day to day basis. Um, I think you're born with that competition and that fire. Um, but I also think it's something that, that you continue to improve. I, I think that's a, being a competitor and, and, and having an edge and, and, and something that's, that's something that you work on on a daily basis just the same amount of throwing a curveball, throwing a slider, throwing a fastball. It's something that, that is practiced. It's something that you definitely have or you don't, but it's something that when things matter to you, winning matters to me, pitching matters to me, then the best, the best part, the best version of yourself just, just naturally shows up. Um, I love competing. I absolutely love competing. I, I love taking the ball. I love having that me versus the hitter. I, I, I love I love doing that. It's something that I, I genuinely love doing. Um, and it carries throughout a staff. It, it carries from one person to the next to the next. And when you start putting super, super intense competitors with an edge and with a fire, um, and you start stacking those guys up, then, then you're, you're putting yourself in a good position to have success. Um, um, Delicate. yeah, yeah. I mean, if you could been a fly on the wall or anything in the last week, um, I said before this thing, um, I, I was talking to Bo and, um, there's a couple of places that I wanted to be and St. Louis was at the forefront of that. Um, but then there is still a balance, right? You still have to. Um, go through the process and see kind of what presents itself. And St. Louis wasn't the first team to to reach out and 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 contact us and do this thing. We were moving along with other teams, you know, and thinking. And then you start seeing yourselves in different situations. Um, you're like, okay, yeah, that would be, you know, that's. And then you do finally get a call and you get intrigued. Um, you move down the road, and, and then once it becomes clear, um, it, it's a place. You do I, – I did tell Bo um, that, this is, that, that this is the place. Um, let's, let's make it work. And then I don't know a lot of – I don't know if a lot of free agents say this, but it's just who I am. It's just, it's just, just who I am. You'll get to know me. Um, I said, hey, money's not the ultimate factor. This isn't the ultimate factor. Um, being closer to home, being on a competitive 
winning culture, um, being in a place that you want to be, all those things definitely did matter to me. And like I said, when St. Louis called, it was it, it made this thing um, seem a lot more plausible. And then we were able to to work through it and get it done. And I, I'm 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 happy I'm happy to be here. Um, I, um, we hadn't, and I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, we hadn't talked to the Cardinals, um, before that, um, but then seeing Lance sign, Kyle sign, um, coming here, then you know, like, okay, you, there is, you are going to be working with on a day-to-day -day basis, guys who have been around, guys who, who have had a lot of experience and a lot of success in this league. Which that interest that's that's intriguing. That interests me. Um, be able to to work with guys who have been there and done it. Uh, be able to bounce ideas back with that with with those guys, but also being able to to relate to some guys. Being able to, I mean, it's going to be we're going to get to know each other on, on the staff, but we're also going to we're going to we're going to push each other. We're going to have to push each other. We're going to we're going to be we're going to have to be there for each other on a day to day basis. We're going to have to turn this thing into getting a really good understanding of each other and what makes the other what makes it move for the other person how to how to how to push the other person how to i mean it's it's a it's a it's an all a thing that we're gonna that we'll work through but it's all like guys who want to be at a place and guys who still have that edge to them and guys who still want to go out there and compete and can still believe in themselves and can still go out there and dominate baseball games i mean we have guys that can do it um I, I'm a, I'm also a little bit of a rambler, so I don't I I'm honestly forgot your question. No. <laughs> so. <laughs> um. No, there wasn't because you're also going through it, and it just it just plays out how it's going to play out, and it's just. It's, it's just it's just going to be what it's going to be. Um, so you're envisioning when you're talking to these other teams, you're, you're going for me at least. You're going through these other situations, and you're saying, "A, are we going to win? B, is it going to be a good situation for me and my family?" Those are the things that you kind of start with me. So then, when you're going through the other teams. You know, you're 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 just kind of siphoning through a lot. I mean, it, I, I thoroughly enjoyed going through the free agent process. I, I truly did. There was there was a ton of anxiety, a ton of stress. A kind of I mean, you're making a decision and a commitment to a place, but that place is also making a commitment to you. So it, it definitely goes both ways there. Um, but going through it, it's just you know. But it is a this it is a a big decision um but when the cardinals called and when we started going down the road the decision just started to get clear and clear and clear and it, and it, it became an easy decision um and that's how you know it's right uh, when it just when it just becomes an easy decision a clear decision to make and uh, one that checks all the boxes for me I believe um, I did see it, um, but I, I believe I believe in the front office. I believe in the organization. I believe in the culture. Um, I believe in the fans. I believe in the city. Um, I believe in the traditions that have been created here. Um, if you look at it, I don't think the Cardinals have had a losing season since 2007. Correct since 2007 so it's not a place that accepts losing losing is not an option it's not a place that you just say oh the cardinals are you know they're going to go through this thing it's just, it just doesn't happen here um so i believe in that i believe in traditions i believe in in longevity i believe in i mean you're going to not have a losing season since 2007 you've got a strong culture you've got a you got an incredibly strong foundation you've got good people 
uh, I believe the winning culture is still here. Um, it just didn't happen last year, but I, I believe it, it, it's still here and it's been here for a long time. Well, I do remember that game he pitched against us in August, and he kind of shoved it <laughs> against us. So <clears throat> that was cer certainly something I, we, we do remember. But, like, I mean, obviously he was having a lot of success. We were following that. Um, you know, you, you, you hate to, like, start thinking about your roadmap for how to get better during, like, in August. But, um, you know, obviously when we hit the off season, we knew that he was going to be someone of high interest. Um, you know, you go back to the general manager meetings. We met with Bo. Um, you know, he was very clear with us on, you know, what Sonny's expectations were, and that was good. And then the real question became more of the timing. Like, how do we accomplish what we felt like we needed to accomplish and do it in an order where the music didn't stop and we weren't left standing? So, you know, we certainly feel pretty good about where we are today because we were able to add these three arms and we, we think about, you know, the type of makeup that they'll add to our culture, the type of character these guys bring. I mean, that's important, and um, it will they, it, it will be a difference maker. Um, I, I've I've been fortunate throughout my career to be on some really really good staffs, and. Um, and and you in in those staffs you you have it you you have um, you have it you you have to be able to push each other you have to be able to challenge each other you have to be able to call each other out you have to be able to to lean on one another when 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 a when a when a member of your of your staff is feeling some type of way you've got to be there for them but you've also got to be there for them when they're feeling the other type of way. Uh, you got to bring them down, you got to push them up, but I expect th those guys to do the same thing for me. Um, you, have to, you have to instill the utmost confidence in yourself if you want to go out there and be successful. Uh, you, you, can't just, you can't just go into this thing and you can't, ha you can't be a good pitcher and you can't have success and you can't be a good staff if you just kind of like, if you don't believe it, if you don't, if you don't, if you're just kind of halfway in, you're going to, you're going to get halfway results. I mean, it's just, it's just what I believe in. It's just who I am. It's just how I live my life. It's, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's just who I am. And it just, it just comes out when I get in, when I get around baseball and when I, when I, when I talk baseball or when I, when I pitch and when I do stuff, I mean, you, you have to, it, it takes a lot. Like it takes a lot to, to be great. And I also know that one pitch you, you, can't, you one pitcher doesn't make a team win. You, you've got to have everyone. Um, you've got to have every guy on the staff, staff bullpen. You've all got to be you've all got to be pulling in the same direction and have a common goal and have a common belief. And I, I I'm a big believer in like me versus you, having that mentality, having that like having that like you won't see me. You won't see me take the ball out there, and and some some people do. That's not how. That's not who I am. Some you won't see me out there taking the ball and and smiling to the to the hitters and telling them like, "How you doing?" Like you know, hope you had a good night or whatever. Right? <laughs> it's just not. You're gonna you're gonna see the you. That's the complete opposite. I I, um, I believe in the competition. I believe in the competition of the pitter of the of the hitter and the pitcher um, and then the catcher as well like that relationship that all is that all is incredibly important you, you've got to you've got to be willing to to be in the fight together as, as a whole unit as a staff as every like when Lance pitches you you have to be invested in the, into that game um, when Miles pitches you're invested into that game. I'm invested into his outcomes. I'm invested into what we've worked on throughout the week, seeing it translate. And if it's not being able to to know that, hey, we've we collectively have all put in put in the work to 
to have success. So now I'm here. I'm I, I'm going to be here for you. You're going to be here for me when it when it plays out and when it doesn't. And if it doesn't, then everybody then then we'll we'll continue to figure it out. So it's it's like you invested into each other because you're around each other so much. You you see the work that that they're putting in. So now when it's time, you also have to be there to support each and every person on the staff in, in different ways. It's a, I mean, it truly is like a, a, a brotherhood, a, a bond that that everyone just has with each other. Did you talk to the existing uh, player in the roster before you made your final decision? Um, a current player, like existing means or, current? Yeah, or a past player before you made your decision. So I've been in touch with Wayne Wright um quite a bit um i i have been in touch with a few other players as well um and so i've been talking into making a decision easy every player raved about st louis every player in every aspect of what goes into this you know like all the things not just the baseball things so um I I uh, I was in touch with with a, with a few people. Yes. Right. Um. I've understood the technology aspect of it I've been able to incorporate that into my game um, I, I I think the main reason is I just it's just there's always something next right there's always something there's always something more there's you can always be better at something when it comes to pitching uh, if you if you're not constantly trying to improve then then you're not going to improve i, I, I mean there's always something right there's there's always something that the, i believe there's always something to chase when it comes to to getting better and to, there's always there's always a direction to go there's always something else that you can do better there's always something that you can do better and um i just try to look for those things um throughout my career of what I can, what, what can I be better at? What can I be better at? What can I be better at? But remembering what you're already great at, this is what I'm great at, but what can I be better at? Um, I just think evolving over that, wanting wanting to be good. I never wanted to be one of those guys too that like, that got to a point in their career and then you just kind of like stay there and like you see all those guys who like, who are like okay and they're they do good and then they get to a point and then they just kind of like stay the same or just kind of get a little worse and it's kind of like oh let's just call it and you know be good with it nah, i don't like that um i never i, I never i mean yes because there's there's been so many guys who go through their career and continue to get better and those are the guys that i watch and those are the guys that i follow um and that's who i mean that's that's who i envision me being and that's who i have been Um, we can, we can win the final game. Um, you know, we can win the final game. Um, I can, I went through a lull the, earlier in the season of, of walking guys. And then I made that, I got, I, I was getting better at that. Um, I can continue to to make the right decisions and to do the right things for, for myself and my body and put my body in a good position to, to, to stay successful and to stay, to stay strong. Um, I can, I mean, I think you can always, always continue to get better at that. Um, I can, so I started taking my, I kind of lost my sinker a little bit last year because I started throwing four seams I started, so I was going four seam, cutter, slider, curveball. So I was getting my hand in a supinated position a lot more. So I, then I kind of lost my sinker 
that started getting better at the end of the season. So I can, I can figure out a way to, to transition from being so supinated all the time to then getting back to behind the ball and on top of the ball, and then just knowing that each pitch is an individual separate pitch. So getting better at hand manipulation, um, I can definitely be better at that. Um, there's a there's there's a lot there's a lot to get better, and that's going to come with getting to spring and coaching um, and, and getting coached. I enjoy being coached, um, so com that'll 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 come. Um, there's still there's still a lot of there's still a lot to get better at. Um, could finish first in the Cy Young, um, <laughs> get, you know. There's a. Uh, I travel with the baseball at all times, so I just thought it'd be a good idea to bring it out with me. Bo, well, we, uh, we obviously know you spoke a lot about the Bucks and how that played into play the rotation plan. What, what factor was experience needing when you were trying to describe a certain your rotation and its culture? And was it established by starting pitch that were all new going into the Bucks? Did you prioritize that at all? Or did they yeah, we certainly value experience. Um, you know, you look back to last year and you try to unpack like what went wrong, what went right. But one of the things that we felt like from a pitching standpoint, we lacked those guys that have been through it and have experienced it. And, you know, like if you're a young pitcher, who better to learn from? People that have been through it. Now, obviously, we had Adam Wainwright running around, but there's only so much you can do as one individual. So adding a, a much larger breadth of, of experienced pitchers was certainly a goal. How did you, you know, you had you know, your first, first starting camp in the rotation. How do you know your spot today? Like, are you hearing things today that kind of affirm what you expected? From yeah, I mean, he's pretty well advertised on, on what type of person he was. And I think from our due diligence, we knew he was a guy that, as I started, you know, he, he wants to compete. He wants to improve. I mean, those are like amazing traits in this business, right? It's, it's a hard game and doing it every fifth day over um, 187 days for 162 games is tough. And so like having someone that has that mentality that wants to do that is what we were looking for. Um, I, I think because I, I, throughout my career, I've been through it and I've, um, I've been through different places now, different teams, different organizations now, and I've learned and I've grown so much throughout those experiences. I mean, the best way to, the best way to, to learn and, and, and truly get get better at, at things is to go through it and, and to experience and then to come out the other side and say, you know what, I, I went, I went, I went through the ringer and I came out a better person. I came out a better husband. I came out a better father. I came out a better pitcher and to go through it. And, and now to look back as Mo was saying, look back at a, at a season, but I, I, as a pitcher, you also look back at each season that you have. And you say, like, okay, what what did I what could I what did I do wrong there? What what started going wrong there? And then and you say, like, okay, so so having been through the ringer, you know you know how to a get yourself out of it in one start or two starts and not let it linger for five, six, seven. Um, and, and B, you know you just know you know how to manage it better as, as when you go through it and, and when you do. Have more ex when you do have more experience, you you learn how to how to manage expectations and how to do how to and, and the biggest thing for me is is learning the thing that I've taken away from going all that is is dive into just dive into baseball, dive into pitching, dive into things that dive into the things that you love. Don't worry about don't listen. I mean, you create. I have very high expectations expectations for myself, so. You, don't but don't create all these all these things 
just focus on your daily task at hand, your daily task at hand and, and focus on that. Focus on that and just know that what you're doing and everything else, it's going to play out. It's going to play out in the end. Don't worry about the noise. Don't, don't worry about this or what this person says or what that person says. Because another thing that I, another lesson that I learned kind of going through this free agency thing is not a lot of people know what they're talking about. Um, and that's just a fact. <laughs> uh, <Sad>. So, uh, <laughs> so there's no reason to, why entertain it, right? Why even listen to it? You, 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 you know who, you know who you are, you know what you're about. Um, I just think that's the biggest thing. Having been through it, having been through the ringer, just focus on you and what you can control and, and, and what you're good at. And then you have your support system and your staff and everyone around you to, to build you up and to, and to, and to smack you down and to put their shoulder on you and to do all those things. So, um, just keep your blinders on, keep moving forward and putting in the work and, and everything plays out. really need to sort of look at what trade options there might be out there and how we can maybe arbitrage that to improve the club. So, you know, like, like I said, today's a great day for us. We feel really good about what's happened over the last 10 days. Um, but we also know there's still two months left in the off season. And what we really want to do is just not close any doors, not um, recognize or, or acknowledge there could be other opportunities. And so that's really what we want to uh, approach the next um, two months as. So, you know, what might happen next week in, in winter meetings is still TBD, but, you know, we certainly feel a lot better about our club today than we did uh, two months ago. So at that time, I just want to thank all you guys for showing up. I appreciate it. Short notice, um, but thank you. And uh, I think you can all see the passion that this young man brings and, and the excitement uh, our fans should have for him. So thanks. Thanks, Mel. Thanks. Yes, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank